What's up YouTube friends and family? Welcome back to the vlog. It is a new day, new video, a new adventure. Sort of. It's kind of another repeat. Uh, but today we are down in Valdez, Alaska. Uh, we are at a, a little Airbnb cabin that uh, we booked and we're going to spend the night tonight and tomorrow night. Tomorrow we are going out uh, halibut fishing for the second time. Uh, we got to do this a little, uh, almost a year ago, which funnily enough is, is one of my top performing videos. So if you haven't seen it, go back and watch that. I'll try to put a link in the description or something anyway. Um, but yeah, so sorry, Nats, we're going halibut fishing tomorrow again. Like I said, we've got this little cabin, uh, that we booked on Airbnb. It's our first Airbnb experience. I'm not going to go into all the details, but, uh, it is a cute little place. We left today right after church and drove down here. It's about a six hour drive, give or take uh, a little bit of construction, but not too bad. We've spent the evening just kind of, kind of goofing off, uh, chilling out. We went down to the marina and walked around a little bit and, uh, just had some fun just being out by the water. So uh, looking forward to be out on the water tomorrow. So I have no idea where this clip is gonna go in the video. You may have already seen some of our drive down. Just depends on how I feel once I get to editing, so we'll see. Anyway, if you haven't seen it, it'll be coming up soon. But uh, hoping to have a lot more footage out on the boat tomorrow uh, as we go halibut fishing. And hopefully we catch some big ones. We'll see. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the morning. All right, we are back. It is 2.45 in the... No, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did I ruin it? <laughs> no, it's actually about 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we are currently waiting for our boat ride. Um, they are... Uh, we're supposed to meet them here at the boat launch and uh, you know this is just such a such a pretty background that uh, just had to film here for just a moment so yeah like i said we're here and uh it looks like they might be showing up so we'll see see how it goes a little bit though real quick all right so first off let me address a little bit of an elephant in the room i don't know if you can see my head very clearly or not but uh life tip number 46 is to not wear a gopro head strap all day long on the boat because you will get sunburned except for where the head strap was so i'm hoping my head will even out somewhat soon tan, line, uh, tan lines are on point oh looks great right you know you probably you i don't even know if you can see it right now Maybe you could see it. I don't know. Anyway, we'll check the video later. <laughs> we are headed back home from Valdez. Yesterday was an amazing experience. I'll talk about that more a little bit later. For now, we have stopped at a, uh, at a trail to go see some magnificent views up in Thompson Pass. Trail of 98. Trail of 98 is what it's called. Don't know what that means, no reference. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we're going to go do just a bit of hiking. Yeah, there it is. Trail of 98. Going to go do just a bit of hiking. Let's go hiking. All right. We came from, you see the trail right there. That's where we came from. Not quite to the end here, but, uh, this is what we're looking at. Check out this beautiful valley. And what a view. You can keep going on the trail over there. You know, you can see it go a little further. We're not going to bother with that because, uh, well, because <laughs> we're tired and exhausted and uh, ready to get home. But this would probably look a whole lot better from the air, though. One moment.
are a little over halfway home now. Um, again, like I said, we had a great trip. This has probably been one of the best fishing trips I've ever been on, uh, at least so far, and uh, I'll tell you why. So this next clip you're about to see is the only halibut that we caught. Uh, a couple other people on the boat caught one as well. Let me just run through this whole thing. We got on the boat at about 7.30 in the morning. We headed out took off it's a it was about an hour boat ride out to where we were fishing at and Charlie and Sharon uh, the the owners of the boat they were getting us set up by about 9 9 15 or so uh, Chas had a bite she her, her pole you know it kind of tapped real quick and and she's like oh okay and she started reeling with halibut you're not supposed to actually you know set the hook like you do with bass uh, you just you just start really you raise up and, and keep the keep the rod tip up and start reeling in pretty quickly she realized this you know it was kind of heavy and all of a sudden the the tip you know it bent down even more and the as the fish tried to go under the boat so she's, she's holding the rod and it's you know trying to try to nearly nearly pull her out of the boat and as you'll see in the clip here in just a minute uh, she was like okay this is big here Paul you do it so she handed the rod to me and for a moment I was like ah, it's, you know it's not that big I, you know I raised it up reeled in and, but within about 30 seconds or so I really felt the weight of it and realized it this was a good sized fish I'm not gonna say how big it was just yet um, but uh, it took well, let me just show you the clip. I got it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, just keep. Hold that. Yeah, keep your tip up if you can. You want to hide it like a trophy. Keep going. You got it. Do you want help or? Yeah. You got it. Go for it, girl. That's okay. Just don't lose the pole. Oh, it's it's. Okay. You um, you tell me. Put if you can put that pole in your like right here on your here, crotch. Here, I want Paul to do it instead. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right, I got it. And then put your weight in, just bring it up. Mm -hmm. And then go down with it and reel in as you go down. Right. And then just raise. Yeah, you got something, babe. There you go. Keep doing that. Um, it's not peeling line, but that's a good, that's a good size fish. Yeah, good yeah, yeah, there's something on there for sure. There's oh, my laser. Alright. Oh, man. Oh. Right. <laughs> oh. There you go. It's pulling some line. Let, just let it go? No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Don't let it go. Please, oh, my goodness. Yes, you right. Nothing yet. You're, you're fairly deep. Pretty soon you'll be able to see a. Oh, I'm feeling. I'm hunting oh. and that's a nice big halibut. And y'all tell me oh. I'm in the way. I just, you, know. you got it. You got it. Keep going. Yeah, over here. Oh, yeah, he did. That's a nice My Lanta. I know how deep were we? 180 feet, I think. He killed line though, so he twice. He went right back down to the bottom. <sighs> Tire this we dude out. So. Where is it going? He line again. Life in him. <sighs> there he goes again. I try to keep him out of the motor. Good deal. Good deal. Yeah. No, you're good. Boy, then pulled line three times. 
There he comes. Oh, see, see the white down there? That's a big howl. Oh, no, not yet. I gotta hop through them before we do anything. Keep going, babe. Oh, crap. Keep, uh, going. keep um, going, babe. Just bring, keep them, just keep them coming. Keep them coming. A little more. Just keep them up here. Uh, come on. Hey. Let him go. Oh, oh, oh. Get out of there. How do I? Oh, no. That's over 100 pounds. Okay, I got it. Sandy, can you go put the motor up? Don't lose it. Yeah, you got over 100 pounds out of it there, sir. Oh, so if he goes back like that again, I'll get more of a motor up. I'll get more of a motor up. I'll get more of a motor up. Right. I'll get more of a motor up. I'll get more of a motor up. Yeah, I don't shoot them until we get them harpooned. That's a good size fish. Uh, it's over 100 pounds. I got, come I'm on, gonna take almost it. there. I'm going to take the almost gun off. Yeah. Guns up. Yeah, don't do anything. I'm going to stop back here. Okay. Oh, holy smokes. Okay. Loaded. <laughs> got it. Yep. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. Amber's not caught. Yeah. Round the other one. Hey, take two. Get that off. Yep. Okay, just when you can, just get him up there. Yep. He's still alive. Oh my Bottle goodness. Life. Bottle life. Hold the pole on. He's doing good. He's doing good. Yep. Just bring him up here slowly. Reel him up. Reel him up. Kai, okay, out. Kai. Okay. Get her in, in, in up in the there. cabin, Mom, please. Okay. You put that life in him. I'm going to wait for I'm not going to see him. Yeah, no, no. The harpoon, you can see the harpoon. Yeah. All right. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Weird blast. There he is. That's a big fish. There we go. There you go. Okay, guys, watch stand back. Uh -huh. Get him. Oh, hold on. That's all right. Hold your shot. You have a shot. That's right. No. There you go. There you go. You got him. Get him. Right there. All right. Yeah. Pass the gun back. Got it. I got it. <laughs> oh my lanta! Oh, you just got it. Uh, you just you just got you caught it. I just pulled it in. <laughs> yeah, my hips hurt knees. now. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna need to. Yeah. I'm gonna get it. I need to get out. Get out. Okay, you Michael. Like yes, Island. got it. Oh, you get two. You get two. You get one more. Kai, come here, dog. You guys can't be in there. They're right here now. I'm just going to catch two big ones like that. Okay, turn it around. You guys can't get one big one. One, two, ready? One, two, ready? Go. Coming in. Coming in. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, watch that tail. Yeah, yeah. Watch it. He gets the flop and he'll, he'll break your leg. Yeah. That, sir. Oh, that my man. goodness. Here's a blessing. That's well over 100 pounds. Thank you, Lord. <sighs> Great job. That's a big one. Good job. That's a big one. Golly. I got it. Yeah. That's uh, a good one. Careful. careful. Right here. Okay. 65, 60, 66 inches. Wow. Yeah. What an experience that was it was so much fun uh, It was really cool that we were both involved in it like I said Chas she hooked it She had it and she had it hooked really well. It took a while uh, to get the hook out from its mouth um, But she hooked it and then I got to pull it in it was a lot of fun Maybe one day we'll catch another one like that, but if not, hey, that's okay. The rest of the story is that we, you know, we got it in the boat, we got it set, and then uh, fished for the rest of the day. We had a few more fish caught, um, nothing that big, but uh, at the end of the day, we got back to the harbor. And one of the neat things about Valdez, and I don't, I don't think they do this anywhere else, but I could be wrong. Uh, but they have a, they, it's called the Halibut Derby. Okay, halibut fishing derby. So you buy uh, you buy derby tickets. They're like ten bucks a piece, and it's basically a a raffle of sorts, if you will, for those who catch the biggest fish. Now they've got an overall first, second, and third, I believe, for the season. 
and then for each week they have a first and second place you get prizes apparently the prizes are pretty good uh, or at least they can be so when we got back into the harbor i went and found the number called called the guy and said uh, hey uh we've got a halibut and i'm wondering if we can get a, a an official weigh-in even though i'm an idiot and don't didn't buy a derby ticket <laughs> and he laughed and said yeah he'd, cut, he'd come down and weigh it for us because we knew it was large and, and i wanted to know how big it was and i could kick myself because i did not buy a derby ticket because the thing came out to 143 pounds. I was told that it probably lost at least four or five pounds, maybe even a little more uh, from, from sitting all day. Because again, we caught it first thing in the morning and we didn't weigh in until about 4.30 in the afternoon, if I remember right. Now there's still a, a lot of the week left, but currently uh, we would have been in first place for the week. But like I said, we are so thankful to uh, to Sharon and Charlie uh, that uh, that they let us come out and fish with them. They are got to know them a little bit better and uh, yeah, just had a great time. Also got to meet some new people. We met their friends, uh, Renee and Mike. They were a lot of fun. Maybe one of these days we'll get to all go out and fish again. Um, but even if not, we had a great time and uh, you know, the Lord blessed us. I'll just say that got a few more hours left of driving give or take and uh, we're tired so I'm gonna close out the video here and say as always thank you so much for watching today is July 5th so I'm hoping fingers fingers crossed to have this video out within the next couple days or so I'm gonna try to do some editing tonight when we get home if I don't pass out so <laughs> Um, but like I said, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day or evening, whatever that may be. And we will 